friends in this video we are going to see management of a very hard nucleus by submarine jaw this is the cataract with grade 5 nuclear sclerosis this is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at mid limbus and now a side port is made about three clock hours away from the main incision on the left side then an air bubble is injected to fill off the anterior chamber beneath this air bubble tripe and blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule in such a way that the dye should touch on all parts of the anterior capsule there should be uniform staining of the anterior capsule this is a bit of adrenaline and now the dye is washed out with VSAs using a two-way cannula, it's a Simco 23 gauze cannula. And now, this is Visco 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose filling up the anterior chamber and this SPMC is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility and now a uterita forceps is used to do capsular access by the tip of the uterita forceps the center of the anterior capsule is pierced and it goes radially and this capsular tag is healed by the tip of the uterita it is guided anticlockwise remaining at a certain distance from the border of the iris and a large adequate sized rexis is achieved size of this rexis is about 5.75 to 6 millimeter in hard cataracts if we want to avoid genular stress if we want to manage the large hard nuclear fragments easily we must do a large rexus not less than 5.5 millimeter hydrodissection is done the nucleus is rotated and now here goes the FECO needle with its bevel down the machine is Oatly Cataracts 3. And now the handpiece is turned to make the bevel up. And now watch submarine chow. The nucleus pu is pushed a little down. The tip of the FECO needle goes in. It travels through the substance of the nucleus towards the positive crater and then the chopper is used to crack the nucleus the nucleus is rotated 180 degree few scalps are done to go to a deeper plane and then the nucleus is divided completely into two heminuclei each heminucleus is subdivided into two large fragments in this case the pieces are becoming free they are not joined by leathery bands so all the four quadrants are free and now the pieces are emulsified Ultrasonic energy used from the very beginning is 80% in this case. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. At this time we must watch the behavior of the posterior capsule. See there is no covering over the posterior capsule no cortex all the cortex is incorporated into the nucleus 
so there is no cortex no epinucleus all these things are incorporated into the nucleus now this is the last piece of the cataract at this time during the massification of the last portion I reduce the parameters vacuum is 250 and flow rate is 25 ultrasonic energy is 75 percent and now very carefully the last piece is emulsified This is the most tricky part of the nucleus management. At this time, if we have any doubt of trampolining of posterior capsule, we can manage the last piece by IOL scaffold. Now inject visco. There's a very small speck of cortex at five o'clock and the rest of the capsule bag is free. So a small tiny speck of cortex from five o'clock is removed. And now hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is done before that the new the main wound is enlarged little bit just by point one millimeter now here goes the intraocular lens the lens is placed in the capsular bag and now the intraocular lens is dialed to keep the haptics about 90 degree away from the main wound this is a bit of moxifloxacin and now the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this step position the main wound has been constructed in such a way that it is self sealing wound it doesn't require any hydration and now this is the final lavage of the anterior chamber at this time the capsular bag is irrigated the anterior chamber is irrigated and any visco particle anywhere is removed the anterior chamber is nicely formed the integrity of all the wounds are checked with cotton taped Jensen bard and few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. This is a real time surgery. Thank you for watching. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.